Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and today I want to share with you two powerful money making EA settings that every EA should have. Now many EA traders spend thousands of hours and dollars trying to perfect the EAs that they use. Now you'll see that these settings that I will show you today cut through all of that and can save you considerable time, considerable effort and increase your profitability. So many EA traders get so distracted by trying to be perfect in the way they test and the way they design the EAs. Now this isn't a bad thing but in the end forex trading is about making money not about perfection of techniques. And this is a picture that a lot of people miss. They get so tied up in the technicalities of forex trading, they forget that, hey, we're here to make money. You only have to visit a few forex trading forums to experience the debate of, oh, my tick data is better than your tick data, and I've tested this EA 20 years back, and it doesn't work, and all those kind of debates. And it's great, there's, there's a lot of an analysis involved, and in the end, a lot of these people don't end up making money. So the two tools I'm going to show you today are money-making tools, which you can use and refine the way you trade EAs. We use these tools in all our prototype EAs. In other words, it, they might not be part of the final product, but they are certainly part of the testing process that we do. Some do find their ways into the final product others others don't have them so here we go now the first one is is really the most simple uh, setting and that is the reverse the direction of trade setting so here we are we're testing an ea that is producing 20 percent success rate so it makes sense to reverse the direction of trade doesn't it? That's exactly what we do when we're testing EAs. We build in a function that will simply reverse the direction of trade. And then you have a look at the results that you get from that. Now, I must warn you, 80% of EAs don't result in better results. <laughs> Strangely enough, it sounds logical that if you've got a 20% success rate, if you reverse your, your direction of trade, you're going to have an 80% success rate doesn't always work in practice. But it does help us because that's the way we have actually found a lot of really good EAs. For instance, the time of day hedged EA did not start out as a hedged EA. It started out as an EA that was trying to prove that the entry was not the most important aspect of trading. So we use the time of day to enter, so it's pretty random, and we would then manage the transaction from then on to make it successful. Not each transaction, but over, say, 200 or 300 transactions, the, the uh, end result would be a really positive one. So while we were doing that, we reversed the direction of trade. Now, this was very interesting. Negative results, when reversed, became positive. All right, that's more or less what you would expect. But positive results, when reversed, remained positive. And in certain cases, it actually went up. So this is a very powerful tool. You can take the worst EA, reverse it, and it could possibly become positive. Or you could use it to refine existing EA. So suddenly, this EA became the time of day hedged EA. Because what it does now, it enters a, a, a trade in both a buy and a sell. And strangely enough, it ends up with 80% success rate in both transactions over a long period of time. I've been investigating the randomness of entries as a possible way of trading. Now, what I mean by that is that the entry is not essentially the most important part of a forex trade. It is, the way, it is where you place your stop, where you place your target, and how you manage the trade from then on. Whether you top it up when it's going positive, or whether you follow it with a following stop. Those are the main variables. But I'm pretty close at proving that the entry is most probably the least 
important aspect of forex trading. And the time of day hedged EA gets pretty close to that. We have a, a few other products that work on the same principle that, uh, that are directionless. In other words, you don't need to know the direction of the trade and the, tr the end result will be positive. Uh, the no stop hedged grid trading EA is one of the earlier models that we used. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm an, a chartered accountant, I'm an MBA, and I have a few statistical and probability uh, qualifications. So I tend to use a slightly different approach when analyzing the Forex market. I think the most, most Forex traders have a lot of baggage that they deal with. There are a lot of rules they have in their head that say, this won't work, that won't work, we've tried that, that kind of thing. So I try to think out of the box. And I'm pretty close getting to a point I am saying that the direction of trade is not that important. It is important, but it is not essential for profitability. Okay, sorry, sorry I deviated there. So the reversal of direction setting is actually quite an important one. We have it in most of our EAs, really essential in the design phase of an EA. You need to test the opposite side of what what is generating the entry signal. Now on your screen you can see an example of such a, a setting. Uh, it's not really, uh, uh, the wording is not perfect, but it basically says direction of trade, select. De the default is if, it, if there's a buy trigger, it will buy. The, the reverse is if there's a buy signal, it will sell. So here's an example of a uh, a reversal signal. Now it is this particular EA is pretty robust. It is unlikely that we'll leave it in this EA. We don't want people to fool around with it because the EA stands on its own two feet and is, is a pretty robust EA. And you'll find this particular setting on a number of other EAs. Okay, so let's move on to the second setting. The second setting is quite a controversial one for the purest of EA designers and testers. And that is where you've got to let go of certain paradigms that you've built up in the past. Now, as you can see, we have tested hundreds of EAs. And there are two basic ways of testing an EA. You can use the every tick basis, which basically tests it at its most accurate level or you can use the open prices only setting which only will will test the EA based on the open of the next candle. Now a lot of people would say oh you're using a following stop and you're using this you can't use that technique you can only use that technique if all your decision making on your EA is based on the close or open of the next candle. So what we've found over the years, and this is fairly consistent, is that when we do test based on the every tick basis, and then we do test based on the open candle basis, the results are always better on the open candle basis than the every tick basis. Now this applies to almost 90% of the EAs that we test. So now I'm a strong believer that the market is telling you how it wants to be traded. So if you're getting better results using the open prices method, then that's what the market is telling you it wants to, how it wants to be traded. It wants to be traded on the open prices method. So, so what we've done is in spite of the logic being based on the tick method, is we have given the user of the EA the option to decide I'm going to use this EA on a tick basis or I'm going to use this EA on a close of candle basis. Now the close of candle is inaccurate because the, the logic uh, is muddled up when you use that. But this is where the dilemma comes in. Do you want to make money or do you want to be 100% correct? Because in this particular EA when you use the close of candle basis, it is, the results are five times better, five times better than the, than the, the tick basis. So we've written this EA to be traded on a close of candle basis 
and on a tick basis. Now, the, the beauty of that is that, and anybody who's done any EA testing, will t is that the close-up candle testing of an EA goes most probably 20 or 30 times faster than using tick data. So firstly, your testing goes so much faster. Secondly, it is much more profitable. So why would you want to uh, use tick data? And thirdly, it cuts out the element of error that can be made because tick data is not easy. You've got to download perfect tick data. You've got to align it with the daylight saving and the summertime and your broker's offset. And you've got to, it's, it's, it's not easy data. And then in the end, you might get it to 99%, but what does that mean? You, your testing is faster, your results are better, and you can then move on and trade. Now, this is what we've done, and we have actually found in live trading, because there are fewer variables taking place, uh, the, the live trading results are better using this methodology. So to summarize, these two settings have actually enabled us to find much better uh, EA trading solutions. It will also encourage owners of EAs to do more testing because the testing of open, pr open price testing is extremely simple compared to tick data testing. Well, I, I hope you found this video interesting and I look forward to some comments on the, the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for watching this video. You can find links and more information about the video in the description. If you found it interesting, please like it and share it with your friends. Also remember to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any future Forex trading videos. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.